Okay. Okay, last we go to the movie recap as we approach September and winter. September 1st, September. Not too long ago, last Friday. I saw The Expendables 3. So I might as well recap the first two Expendables movies and then go into 3. Uh, the first two were released two, two or two and a half years ago. The first one was Sylvester Stallone and a bunch of the... and, and Dolph Lundgren and Schwarzenegger and a bunch of the old 80s action stars that I totally watched as a kid. They decided to make this movie series where they were like, like we're, we're has been reject old guys and we know it, so we're going to go out and we're still badasses. We're going to go out and uh, like be like super soldiers, CIA, G.I. Joe, A-Team. We're going to be the A-Team. They didn't cast Wesley Snipes because he was... Uh, he was in, in jail for tax evasion. They didn't cast Mr. T. He was like, come on, it's obvious. Put Mr. T in it. Come on. <laughs> Maybe he didn't want to do it. They didn't cast Sigourney Weaver. What, what's the deal with that? Come on. And, but no, no, they cast everybody else. The thing I think of. Uh, they didn't get Harrison Ford until the third one. That's just because uh, Bruce Willis didn't want to do a third one. But, uh, but they, in the first one, they attacked this, like, like they, they they go all over the world and they attack this like like Latin American island somewhere, or it's a country. They like this evil FBI agent or CIA agent has taken it, CIA taken over this uh, island. They gotta go there and stop him. And uh, the they didn't have stunt choreography down to a, a science at that point, so they were like, "We'll just show them in silhouette fighting because they're so like old." It's funny. Literally, they were that, that. So they were in the dark, going like. Poof, poof, poof. Well, they sussed that out in a second. Spendables two was about bad guys had a nuke in Russia. They had a nuke mine, well, there was some. And there was a mine, but there were nukes in it. Okay, so yeah, so they go there and they gotta stop them. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, the premise is ridiculous, but but uh, in part three. Uh, Expendables 3, it's sort of an evil arms dealer played by Mel Gibson who ends up with them in in an abandoned set from Die Hard 5 which they use in the movie. Uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Willis might as well have been in it then. But uh, it looks like the set from Die Hard 5. I don't know what it actually was but it looked like it. Uh, so yeah, they, they, they go in there and they have to get a new team this time because Stallone figures, well, some of the old team are getting too crusty, and one of their guys got hurt, so, uh, yeah. But Wesley Snipes got to be in this one because cause he conveniently got out of jail, so. And they and they make that premise in the movie. So they have Antonio Banderas thrown in there, too. And they have this, even though they're all liberal, all of them, they decide to throw in a line about how Banderas' character was uh, left alone in Benghazi during the Benghazi thing two years ago. That's thrown in there. It's just out of the blue. He was in Benghazi, and it's like, what? Like it wasn't like a political statement so much as, what? The audience was like, huh? Just <laughs> like, I, yeah. And we we're like, and I was like, look at the audience. They were looking at me. And they're like. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, that was interesting. So, okay, yeah, I guess I didn't go over as much as they they thought they were gonna be like deep by mentioning that he was left behind there. Ooh, it's like no, it wasn't deep. It was just confusing. It reminded me of that scene from Star Trek Into Darkness, in which they announced that Khan is Khan, but if it's an alternate universe, they wouldn't know him from anybody. So he said, I'm Khan. The audience is like, huh? They weren't shocked. They were like, huh? <laughs> and it was probably, yeah, so it's like that. So, yeah, so it was like that. So it was like, Khan? What? The big guy's like, what? And no context, just Bagasi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stallone, okay. Um, so, yeah. Expendables 3, that was the last thing I saw, so that was the end of the summer. So my summer movies, uh, we're, we're now, 
the Oscars always come around late February, early March. But all the good movies come from now on. So it's September on to December 31st. Are all the good Oscar movies that are going to come out. And they will be reviewed. But there haven't been any good Oscar movies to throw on the channel. So I've been mainly doing these action pictures. And at this point, so all those movies that I reviewed there, Guardians of the Galaxy is going to win for action picture because, and possibly comedy because there's nothing else there. <laughs> so there you go. Guardians of the Galaxy is a shoe in But uh, yeah, um, I guess the Days in the West one. But yeah, really, nothing, not much. Uh, I'm sure this has been a long thing, but this is a recap. So. For the Clara Awards. The Clara Awards. Ooh. No, the, I don't know how many annual Clara Awards it is. I guess considering the Calcat show started in 2009 and we started calling it the Clara Awards in 2010, this would be the... And we don't want to count the unofficial because it's unofficial Clara Awards. So, 2010 to now, what's this, four years? Yeah, this would be the fifth coming up <laughs> yeah so but yeah because it was like season two that we started calling it that. so yeah nothing big if there's something big you know there's some movies coming out but they look kind of meh <laughs> they don't look that interesting oh there there's so uh, yeah I guess I guess the uh, that movie that I didn't see uh, the, based on another children's uh, young adult book the one about Fault in Our Stars I guess that was alright but I didn't see it yeah can't say um yeah when there was another channel called Red Letter Media that was ripping Boyhood I didn't see that one either so I don't know uh, they were ripping Transformers 4 however hilariously but <laughs> And Ninja Turtles 4 or 5 or whatever the heck it is. <laughs> the current one. Ninja Turtles the reboot. They're not aliens because that's stupid. Yeah. So whatever. Um, now I like the Ninja Turtles. Go watch the, go watch the classic Ninja Turtles. And Ninja Turtles Forever, which was a cartoon from two years ago. So that was good too. Good cartoon. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, uh, Ninja Turtles. Turtle power. So yeah. Oh yeah, I should probably throw on the end of these uh, Calcat channels. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on location. Uh, cats, KTS. And uh, yeah, if you like the videos. So that I can have a little bit of AdSense revenue and uh, be a sellout. <laughs>